Ben, you talked uh, a little bit about the short week yesterday on your radio segment. Uh, how much of a challenge is this, not only coming off a tough physical game, but having to play who you're playing on Thursday? Yeah, that's the, probably the toughest part is the, the physicality of the game before. Um, playing Baltimore, everyone knows that that's going to be one of the most physical games of the year. So, um, you know, got a couple of days to get ready for another physical team. So what's the adjustment? Uh, rest. Can you fast forward recovery? <laughs> No, unfortunately, uh, just try to do what you can and get as, as healthy as you can. For these games, you, I'm imagining you can't get real specific in the game planning. You kind of just have to do what you do? Um, yeah, I mean, a, a little bit. You know, we'll be able to throw some stuff, uh, some new things in there, but, but not like a typical uh, work week or, you know, game plan week where you have a lot of things. Uh, so we'll have to rely some on the no huddle and some things that we've done uh, over the, the weeks and years. Ben, do you do you prepare for Carolina last week a little bit too? Do you, nope. No. Nope, not at all. Ben, they a big uh, zone defense team. Carolina, uh, like yeah, so far. I mean, uh, you know, seeing some of that, some man stuff, but but really, it starts with their two linebackers, um, Luke and Davis. I mean, they're just they're so good. Ben, hey, is among the good pairings that you've ever seen at, at linebacker. Oh, absolutely. Um, Coach Tom, we compared him to. Um, he said Erlacher and Briggs. Chicago and yeah, there, there's something, there's something else. Ben, why does no huddle work on short weeks? Is that just you reading what you're seeing? Um, yeah, I mean, with the familiarity of it, you know, not having, we've been doing no huddle stuff in those plays for a long time, so um, not throwing something new, just the, the understanding of it. Are you comfortable with Washington in that situation now, or is that still a work in progress? Yeah, I thought he, I thought he played well last week, uh, well enough. But um, you know, that's not my call. Whoever's in there at that position will, I'm sure, will be ready to go. And do you see more teams focusing on taking away the deep ball? It may, not just in, maybe with you guys, but maybe around the league, but specifically with you guys. Um, yeah, I mean, there was, um, you know, last week there there weren't a lot of big plays, and it, and it is it's teams playing those those kind of deep coverage type things to, you know, the bend don't break kind of defense is what it you know you want to call it, I guess. You're seeing more of that. Yes, yeah. I think so. Ben, can you feel the chemistry on the team building um, with, with not only the line and James, but you and your receivers, and, and also what they're doing on defense now? Do you feel something building? Um, you know, we're just we're, we're taking it one week at a time. I mean, I think um, I, I never like to speak on the defense, but offensively, you know, we, we've had a lot of the same guys here for a long time. So um, there was no panic in this room early in the season. That's what we we got a good chuckle out of you guys panicking and the, the, the outside world panicking, but for us it was just a matter of um, you know playing the next week. Is that experience? Yes, that's a big part of it for sure. Did you have to say anything to James Washington after the first incompletion? You know I did. You saw me talking to him. What has he been going through specifically? It's sometimes it is slower for receivers. Why is that? And you know there was such a buzz about him coming out of training camp, right? And then. <clears throat> Um, really well, it gets real, you know, right? Like training camp is, you're not really getting tackled. I mean, you are, but you're not. Um, you're going against different defenders. And um, I think for him, the, the toughest part is playing one side. Um, you know, in college, he played one, one side of the ball. And uh, I don't think colleges, if you watch college football, uh, I, I feel like offenses are being simplified uh, in the sense that they're all looking to the sideline. They're all... It's, it, it seems to be you know, screens. They're not running a whole route tree. It doesn't appear to, it, uh, to be that way. So I think they come in at a – quarterbacks and receivers come in at a disadvantage in the NFL level. So, um, you know, it's, it, it's different. You know, but I think he's, he's learning and, and he's not asking questions, which is a good thing. Have you or anybody else, do you, do you try to coax them through it, not just correcting mistakes, but, you know, to kind of hang in there, be patient? Uh, a little bit. I mean, you, you, only, you only have so much of that, right? Um, but I, I, you know, after that first um, incompletion to him, I said something to him, and, and you saw he responded well. Then how is the pain in your finger? Fine, thank you. <laughs> Do you find yourself tougher on Washington as you get older? Or are you tougher on these rookies? Uh, man, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, when you see the, you know, you see the potential, and but but he's he's a, he's a really good kid. He's a guy that works hard. Um, you don't really have to get on him. I think he gets on himself enough. Um, you know, I think it's, it'd be one thing if he came here with a different kind of an attitude, but uh, but that's not who he is. So that's that's really beneficial for him and all of us. And while you can't necessarily game plan as extensively for Thursday night, what are the advantages to being able to run the know how as you do? Um, just that we've been doing it for a while. We know it. Um, we know it pretty well. We've done it. You know, we we did it last week in Baltimore really well. And 
you know, just, just being able to pick up the pace and the tempo and, like I said, the familiarity of it. And Cam Newton's a taller quarterback who's taken a lot of hits in his young career. What advice would you give him for prolonging his career? I don't need to give him advice. He's Superman. <laughs> what do you think of his game just overall? Like Superman. It's pretty spectacular. <laughs> And there's a lot of quarterbacks throwing for a lot of yards this year, uh, partly because of the uh, rules changes and the uh, emphasis on those rules. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think that's one of the big ones. Um, I think you're, everyone's got to keep up with uh, everyone else, right? When you're out going out scoring points, um, 30 is not even you know a number anymore. It doesn't seem like in a lot of these games. So uh, I, I think the rules are one of the big reasons, yes. Is 5,000 yards as, as big a deal anymore? Um, it's still a pretty big deal. Uh, I know I've never got there, and a lot of guys haven't, so it's probably still a pretty big number. But it, it seems like there might be some some guys on a few guys on pace to get it this year. Would it be a big deal to you? Uh, as long as we're winning football games, that's all that matters to me.